Well guys, it's official. We are now living in the future. And perhaps 2020 won't be a complete waste of time after all. Yesterday, Epic Games announced the next iteration of its game engine, Unreal Engine 5. As you can see here, the graphics are just absolutely stunning. Oh, what's that? Sorry, wrong demo. As you can see here, the graphics are absolutely stunning and real, apparently. The tech demo is called Lumen in the Land of Nanite and is running real time on a PlayStation 5. And going along with the theme of fives here, this demo just kind of makes me want Uncharted 5. But maybe I'm the only one. And you're probably asking yourself, Timbo, what is so different and futuristic about this demo? Well guys, the folks over at Epic Games revealed the key to the future. And that key is something known as the triangle. Triangles, same number of triangles, 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 three million triangles, triangles, hundreds of billions of triangles. In order to fully understand this revolutionary concept, I did some research and discovered that a triangle is a polygon with three edges and three vertices. With triangles looking this good, I can't imagine what they're going to do with Unreal Engine 6 and the square. Along with the unveiling of Unreal Engine 5, there's also been a breaking news story about the COVID-19 outbreak being a cover-up so that the people at Epic Games can go out and steal all of the world's triangles without anyone noticing. In all seriousness though, this demo looks amazing, and don't you worry, I will be giving you some actual information here. The demo previewed two of the new core technologies debuting in Unreal Engine 5, those being named Nanite and Lumen. Before I get into the technical aspect of things, basically speaking, Lumen is a dynamic lighting system, and Nanite is all about the graphics, the graphical detail, okay? also known as the triangles. And keep in mind the gameplay you're seeing is not from a real game. It is running and being played on a real PlayStation 5, but it exists only to showcase the new technologies of Unreal Engine 5. The Unreal Engine is one of many game engines out there, but is one of, if not the most popular. I would say it's the most widely used. If you're unfamiliar with what game engines are and why they're used, I'm not going to get into that too much here but they're basically software environments created to help build video games faster and easier. Tons upon tons of games are made using Unreal Engine, as well as films and architecture and other digital things. And while lots of professional developers use Unreal Engine, anyone can download it and start building their own stuff for free right now. Well, you can't use Unreal Engine 5, but you can download Unreal Engine 4. The tools that Unreal Engine 5 provides will allow developers to create games on the next generation. And while it may take a little bit of time for developers to adopt this new technology, visuals at this fidelity are now possible using this engine on next generation consoles. So let's get started with Nanite, Unreal Engine's virtual geometry. In the past, games would be held back by resolutions and frame rates and compressors and pixels and memory and just a bunch of stuff that force games to be created with less detail. Nanite is a tool said to change that with, you guessed it, pentagons. Triangles, 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 16 billion triangles, 16, 16 times, times the detail. detail. Nanite can supposedly virtualize geometry, allowing it to automatically generate as much geometric detail that the eye can see. With this tool, film quality source art comprising of hundreds of millions or billions of polygons, also known as triangles, can be imported directly into Unreal Engine meaning you can take an asset directly from something like ZBrush or photogrammetry scan and put it right into the game without losing any detail. Before you'd have to optimize these assets or lower the resolution to hit a specific frame rate, but apparently not anymore. Which, that sounds kind of impossibly insane, but I'm all for it. They show this off by taking away the textures from a cave and leaving all of the triangles. Triangles so small, so minuscule. Many of them just look like noise. They also showcase Nanite by having the character walk past a certain statue, talking about how detailed it is, and then dunking on everyone saying that they can just multiply that statue a bunch of times and not lose any detail. Also Nanite is a cool word. I just thought I would share my opinion on that. Next up is Lumen, which is equally as cool looking and sounding. Similarly to Nanite, Lumen works in real time, as shown by moving the light around and seeing how the environment reacts. Lumen is a dynamic global illumination tool, and Epic claims it will work in real time for game development the way that advanced computer generation graphics work for high quality animation and film production. So if you're getting the theme here, Unreal Engine is basically saying that the fidelity of film is now possible to happen in real time within video games. There were about three times Lumen was showed off specifically in the tech demo, the first of which was the example I showed you where they 
move the light around in the cave, which was real nice. The second time was through the use of a flashlight, which is alright. And the third time showed the light adapt to a hole being blown in the ceiling, which was freaking awesome look. While Nanite and Lumen were the standouts of Unreal Engine 5, there were a couple of other things Epic showed off in their demo. One of those things being Niagara, which is referred to as Advanced Simulations with Particle Intercommunication, also known as Fish AI on steroids. They showcased this a few different times as well, mainly through the use of bugs and bats. However, this is supposed to apply to pretty much anything moving that isn't the playable character, at least that's how I interpreted it. Bats were able to intelligently flock together and had spatial awareness when traversing through a crack in the rocks, and icky beetles or roaches or whatever they were, reacted and moved depending on where the playable character was shining her light. This is understandably difficult to show off in a demo, I think, uh, but in concept it is pretty cool, and I'd be curious to see how developers use it in their own games. The last significant thing Epic talked about in the Unreal Engine 5 demo was some differences in animations, uh, which unfortunately doesn't have a really cool name like the rest of them. Pretty upset about that actually. This is another thing that's probably better for developers, but difficult for ordinary people to see in a tech demo, uh, but they talked about how playable characters will be able to have predictive foot placement and movements in these high resolution environments. I'll probably still end up falling off the map a majority of the time, but maybe you guys will have better luck. You can make the character smarter, but no thumbs players aren't growing thumbs anytime soon. You heard it here first. All of these elements seem to combine to create what's supposed to be a smarter, more adaptive, more responsive, more beautiful world. Also, this is totally random, but I really want to know what the person holding the controller is doing during this entire sequence, because that is some predictive foot placement if I've ever seen it. Now, Unreal Engine 5 won't be fully available until late 2021, apparently but developers using Unreal Engine 4 will have an easy transition. So developers can start making a game now on Unreal Engine 4 and then move it to 5 rather seamlessly. I will say it's going to be interesting to see what games will look like on PS5 at launch. I'm assuming that, you know, like on all console generations, games will look better and better as the years go on, but I'm curious to see if there's going to be any type of shift right away from PS4 to PS5 and, and how long it will take games to look as good as this demo. And I'm also wondering how long a PS5 can run a demo like this before spontaneously combusting in my living room. I guess only time will tell. While it's used by a lot of people, there are plenty of developers out there who use engines other than Unreal, uh, including Unity, Frostbite, Creation, uh, or in-house ones. I feel like exclusive games tend to look the best because they don't have to be optimized for multiple platforms, so I'd be really interested to see what PS5 games made by Sony's independent studios will look like. While I have faith that games at this fidelity are possible on Unreal Engine 5, there is no proof, technically speaking. Either way guys, the next console generation is coming up soon, which is crazy to me. I still feel like my PS4 is next gen, as it sits over in the corner there serving as my heating unit now. Games look great on Unreal Engine 4, dating all the way back to like 5 years ago now, so I'm sure the next generation is going to only get better. Down in the comments guys, let me know your thoughts on Unreal Engine 5 and the next console generation. If you enjoyed the video, leaving me a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. The portal is open. to see what's next.